A lot of people ask where to start when it comes to modding their sticks, and after an art change to make it more personal, and maybe some new buttons, they are typically ready for something bigger, and their eyes will naturally fall on their lever. But before you replace an entire joystick, I really recommend these auto DIY kits to step in that direction, the V51 in particular. I'm more of a 2D player at heart and so utilize more Japanese style levers and this V5 kit takes everything you already know and love about some of the most common levers, the Sanwa JLF and the Hori Hayabusa joystick and just cleans them up to help them reach their full potential. This V5 kit includes three different actuators, two joystick gates, the modular body and the Teflon pivot. You'll need to utilize the guts of a standard JLF for everything else though. Here's a quick breakdown to help you see how it all comes together. I also put the foolproof 20 step tutorial in the video description if you'd rather just read it. Start by removing the ball top if necessary. Then look at these screws here and tell yourself you're going to coax them out with the appropriate tool and the perfect amount of force. Stripping them will slow this mod down and increase the overall difficulty. And I seem to strip one screw every other time I do this so I've just taken to ordering an extra mounting plate as a precaution so I don't have to drill out a screw every time. Then remove the e-clip. Once that's off, the spring will want to force the components apart, so apply a little tension to keep it all together. Remove the actuator and spring. Take out the shaft and the pivot. And then remove the gate. Fit the brass nuts into the four holes. Install the new pivot seat. It can only be installed one way, so you can be confident in your execution here. Put the mounting plate back on and screw the brass screws in with your 2mm Allen wrench. Put the pivot on the shaft, then grease up the pivot and insert the shaft. Put the upper spring hat back in and then install the spring or a brand new one. Pick your choice of actuator and push it down over the spring, maintaining pressure. Lock the E-clip back in place. I recommend some needle nose pliers to do that. Then drop the joystick PCB assembly back in. You want to take note where the 5 pin connection stubs out so you won't have to reorient it in your stick. Lock down the appropriate gate. Uh, both of these are really solid options. Pop in a lower dust washer if you want and put the ball top back on. And there you have it. I definitely think it's worth experimenting with the different actuator sizes. You can tell which one is which by looking at the little divots on them. I like the bigger actuators because I play a lot with my fingers rather than the whole wrist and a bigger actuator means I can keep my movements smaller. Really though, it's up to you and you can dial in that perfect feel for you. I do really enjoy this kit and typically go this route if I'm going with a JLF over a Sanjux on a certain build. You can buy the kit from many of the usual arcade component suppliers. There is also another kit out there, the V2, which changes the feel of the JLF to be more similar to Korean style levers. These mods aren't anything new these days, but I like to recommend products I found success with, and this mod caters to the player who isn't quite ready to invest three figures in the Sanjux V3, but still wants something beyond the standard JLF or Hori they've been using for years. This kit utilizes really low friction Teflon components and just feels really smooth and robust compared to stock. It also comes with three different actuators and some different gates to help you really dial in your own feel. And though an octagonal gate is not included in this initial kit, you can actually grab one made from the same material with no judgment from me if you are so inclined. Hey, whatever works for you. Thanks for watching, support your locals, and I'll see you next time.